appreciate you for coming, man, and uh, I appreciate, you know, the things you're trying to do um, with the, the clothing line, Dorks and Dweebs. Uh, tell everybody a little bit about uh, your clothing line. Well, Dorks and Dweebs is a vibrant, it's new, it's, 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 it's catchy. Uh, the whole meaning behind it is, is it's cool to be a nerd. It's cool to be a geek. It's cool to be a spaz. It's cool to get straight days. It's cool, to, you know, to be different and dress different. Uh, you know, I got sweatshirts. I got jean jackets, hoodies. I got the jogging pants. I got the short sets, the tees. I got everything coming, rocking for everybody. And it's doing, it's doing numbers. It's doing good. Man, it's doing that's very what's good. up, Bless. man. Definitely, man. And I like that positive, uh, you know, vibe with that because. It seemed like everybody try to make it seem cool, especially with rap music and everything today that you got to have, you know, negativity, whether it's gun violence or guns or, you know, bunch of women things or whatever. And, uh, you know, when we was younger, we may not have realized it, but when you get older, you realize, man, that uh, that can mess with a person, man. Oh, it can definitely change the whole youth, man, and force you. Me, myself, I'm an educator, so I'm in the school system every day, and you can see the influence of how social media has, has changed everything from the way we grew up. So uh, everything is, is, is totally different. You know, there's no order in the streets, so and, and everything is influenced by, by social media, everything. Man. And what I'm portraying is, you know, for example, we have uh, children's books coming out uh, that's going to be targeted social emotion, uh, no bullying, things of that nature. Uh, this is such basis on on a day to day basis of what goes on in the school. Uh, working on um, we got, got a lot of projects in the, that's coming up. All right, that's what's up, man. That's good, man. Looking forward to seeing that, man. Tell us a little bit about growing up in Chicago and what was like early life like uh, for you and some of the things that that you uh, encountered as a youth. Oh man, well, you know. Born, born, you know, grew up in uh, <laughs> High Park, you know, right there on 63rd Street. So, you know, we grew up right in the trenches. You know that, Jay. You know, we play Nintendo, you know. <laughs> we go way Definitely. Back, you know what I'm saying? Right. With the NBA Live. NBA right. Camp. Lakers you know versus saying? Celtics going back and forth, man. But it was love, man. You know, we, we, we had all the... the, the, the what would you want to call them, the drug dealers, or you want to call them the, the heavy hitters in the street, you want to call them, whatever you want to call them, but they looked out, you know what I'm saying, you had even the gang leaders, or whatever you want to call it, everybody looked out, they looked at, it was, everything was a family, right, you know, the block, if you lived on that block, each and any, any neighbor can talk to you, you know, now, you know, nobody wants to say nothing to the kids, though, you know what I'm saying, so it was different, everything was family knit, you know what I'm saying, and we had a good time, and we had, and we had to worry about you know, getting shot, or you may knuckle off a little bit, but other than that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. You may knuckle up, but other than that, you didn't have that, you know, that, that, that type of vibe. But now the vibe now is so different because uh, everything is so divided. And everybody has, uh, everybody got a little self esteem. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing right now. Everybody looking for, everybody looking for this improvement, uh, trying to be approved and trying to fit in. And instead of being yourself and just, and just living, but it's a different, it's a different, it's a different, it's totally different from when yeah. we came up, Jay, to now. Definitely, definitely. And one thing about uh, growing up in Chicago, you eat, like you said, it was all the people from the streets, but then we also saw a lot of legit professional people making it too. So, oh, yeah. you know, it was a lot more balanced, whereas I think now, you know what I'm saying, a lot of young people don't maybe see professional people that are making it as cool or as something that you know they should aspire to be and so uh you know that definitely is not a good good look and i'm glad you know like you say you're an educator and you're doing something cool with the clothing line and other things so hopefully people can see it ain't always about either trying to play ball or you know music or inner things that way um, it's other ways that you can still make an impact. So, you know, that definitely is good, man. Um, so, um, also, don't you, uh, weren't you like coaching or have some type of influence in basketball as well? Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a, 
I'm not gonna say retired, but I've been coaching the game of basketball for about 20 years. And he said, inner city youth. Uh, started with uh, St. Margaret, Scotland, uh, with a host of people that, uh, that that attributed to to my success uh, coaching the game of basketball. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you? Uh, did you get inspired going to Mount Carmel, being around like uh, Donovan McNabb and uh, Antoine Walker? You was at the same time when you was there, wasn't you? Well, at that time, there wasn't no no culture aspirations at that time. Uh, that was just a time of uh, just fun. That was a time we just had fun. We kicked it and uh, we had a good time. You know, saying so it was a brotherhood. It was you know, it was all boys school. Uh, and we, <laughs> we, we had a really good time. <laughs> we got MC. Right. <laughs> Shout out to my man Don, Twan, uh, the real man should have made it to the league. Uh, even Simeon, Simeon Wright. That's a brother. That's, that's one of my. Uh, 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 we are MC brothers. Right. Uh, okay. Shout out to you guys. I didn't know Simeon Rice went there as well. I was a freshman when he was a senior. Okay, all right. And Simeon Rice went on. Didn't he win the Super Bowl with uh, Buccaneers? Yep, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all so right. The male, when he walked down the hallway, his shirts didn't fit him. His, <laughs> his, like, well, up here. And then his pants, I mean, he was huge. Man, man. amongst boys. Definitely. Definitely. Was definitely intimidating. <laughs> yeah, man. So that's what's up. So then you get into coaching. Uh, what got you into coaching? Uh, what was what led well, you to it was that? Just the passion is, uh, I have, I have, you know, I have three sons. So uh, I wanted to be in their life as far as coaching basketball, baseball, football, tennis, whatever sport it was. I wanted to be. I wanted to be a part of it somehow. So that's what that's what my my sons influenced me to coach and. I, used, I put, uh, did a little uh, coaching with the BAC uh, Baseball League, um, it's a prominent league. I did a look. Uh, also did a little, a little touch and go uh, football, but really basketball was my passion. And uh, I got inspired by a couple of fellows by the name of Greg Winfield, Lou Tops, Terrence Street, Abdul definitely, uh, uh-huh. and a host of other coaches that, uh, that, that, that that paved the way for me. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, it, it's I've put a, quite a few kids in high, a lot of kids in uh in high school, quite a few in college, and we got we got a two point semi pro, so now pretty happy, what's up. pretty happy, pretty happy about that. Yeah, man, definitely, man. So, um, what made you decide to get into education and being uh working in the school system? Because I know when we was younger, that was probably one of the last things you may have thought that you would be doing uh, when you were older. So how did you uh, end up getting into that? Well, uh, the opportunity came uh, where I'll be able to assist the diverse learners uh, for the uh, school, for, uh, Chicago public school system. And um, the opportunity was great because uh, I, I thought it was a perfect time for me to come in and try to mentor some of the, uh, the boys from my own neighborhood, and uh, I had a, a great relationship with their with their moms, their uncles, their grandparents, their sister brothers, whoever it was. Because I was a part of the neighborhood, I am the neighborhood, and and just as well as you, Jay, you know, you, you can relate to the neighborhood. So uh, that was that was the biggest influence for me to get into the education field, and uh, and just just being around the youth every day and watching the interactions, and you become role models for them. Because you're more than just uh, just an educator. You become parents, right? Uh, away from home, right? Right. They spend, they spend more time with you, so it, it was engaging. It was it was fulfilling to see the kids, uh, their minds just grow. You know, it's just it, it was. <laughs> it, it was that was definitely 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 inspired. Yeah, that man, that's first. dope, man. Because uh, it wasn't too many teachers or people in the school system that we looked at that could be cool. Or that we could relate to when we was coming up. I know most of my teachers was like 50s, 60s, and up. And so I never really like thought of it that way. So, I mean, that's definitely cool to see it kind of changing and have somebody from the neighborhood they could relate to, man. Uh, you know, how, what are some of the people that you may have uh, inspired or worked with coaching or in school that we may uh, may know about today? Um, uh, or that we will know about soon. Um, we got a host of characters in high school from like the J Rocks and the Jalen Griffs and the Avions and 
You know, you go with the Jabari's and the J Bars and Daniels and Perspective, and you got uh, you got uh, J uh, Bar and uh, Bogan. You got a uh, 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 um, you got a list of characters. Um, uh, uh, Mike Sean from Simeon. Uh, also, uh, um. I mean, the list goes on and on. Right, uh, right. USA. Quite a few uh, characters from USL, St. Rita, um, uh, or um, uh, uh, Carrie. I mean, you, you name yeah. them. You name them. It's something that's affiliation all through the city of uh, Chicago, even even with definitely with the grammar school. Right, um, right. From, from Ariel to Carnegie. Uh, now, didn't you uh, cross paths with right. Anthony Davis uh, at one point in his uh, upcoming? You know, this is when Anthony Davis was a <laughs> he was a young <laughs> punk, and uh, he was the ticket guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, say about say Calabana right there on seventy first, and that's where all I the, know, my the friend went school, there. That's where the grammar school tournament was held. Yeah, that was the best grammar school tournament in the city. Oh and, right, uh, okay. I think his uncle uh, Keith Chamberlain was uh run, was was the director of that. And he would be he would be at the door taking tickets, but he was only maybe six two, six three. And he came back the next summer, spot up six ten, six eleven. And, you know, that's when they came around. That's when you started seeing him wearing Kentucky T shirts and everything. Everything was Kentucky then. <laughs> after, after a while. You know what right. I'm saying? So I definitely remember those days. But I remember his sister Isha, she shot better jump shots than him. Oh. She can shoot better than him, definitely. I, I we had our shootouts in the gym. And she definitely, she definitely won. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. She definitely won though, but yeah, it's good old Isha. <laughs> yeah, she didn't, she didn't try to go to WNBA though. Huh? She wasn't. Uh... No, but she was, she was nice. Uh, but uh, I think she got into fashion. I'm not correct. I think she got into the fashion world. Yeah, I'm WNBA correct. ain't able to pay. You know what some people would would like right now. So, oh, you know, they working on it though, but. It's still growing. Um, so, how did you get into the fashion yourself, man? Uh, what 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 got you into deciding to make uh, a clothing line, man? And and how did you come up with the the dorks and dweebs? I know you say you was trying to make it cool to to do the right thing, basically. But how did how did that all come up? Honestly, man, I'm sitting with uh, <laughs> it was day at work. Uh, day with my uh, my diverse learners. And uh, I was looking at all the students, and I said, I was, you know, I'm going to draw you guys. And I uh, just, you know, just made cartoon character faces of them. And one of my buddies, uh, man, 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 his soul, rest in peace, John L. Bush, he said, you know, you should draw them and put them on a T-shirt. I said, what the heck, I'll do it. I drew one of the characters, put them on a T-shirt, made 100 copies one weekend, sold out. And from there, that's when Dorks and Dweebs grew. Uh, the, the title, Dorks and Dweebs, uh, we were making jokes. You know, we were joke, you know, playing the dozens with each other. And uh, the, the, the students, we were calling each other Dorks. And I was like, Dweebs. And we was going back and forth with the Dorks and Dweebs. And it was more it was more so dorky and dweeby or something like that. Hmm. But my guy, uh, Charles Warren, <laughs> a good friend of mine, he was like, man, you should just make it clean. Dorks and Dweebs. And I was like, that's a great idea. And uh that's why that's what Dorks and Weaves came. Damn, that's that's good. Shout out to uh the people, the real people who buy on the things and that's just is this is this sound good? And I said, I like that. So right. shout out to Charles Warren again to you. Hell oh, yeah, definitely, man. And I didn't know that you actually drew it. I didn't know you knew how to draw, man. I didn't know that, man. So you actually drew all of the pictures, huh? Yeah, I'm the artist. I'm the artist uh, behind the scenes. Uh, I also have another company called PBR Paint and Play. Uh, we do commercial residential, residential murals. Uh, my partners, Rick and Brian, uh, very good brothers, uh, talented educators as well. Um, uh, I create. I, I create everything from the Chanel patches to the to the denim to the to, I mean, to the textures, everything down to the silk screen. Even oh, okay. to the, I, I, I'm the creative of everything. So oh, okay. yes, it's, it's it's demanding, but I got complete control, and I cut out the middleman. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, man. 
that's one thing I, I've never been able to draw, man. I'm, I'm still working on my stick figures, man. So, you know, I, <laughs> I, I ain't really got it like that. So that's dope, man. So so what if somebody is uh, trying to figure out what they should be able to do with, with their artistic talents, man? What, what advice could you give them if they were maybe thinking of starting their own clothing line or getting into art or whatever? What, what, what advice would you give them? Uh, I would I would tell them don't never uh, accept constructive criticism. Accept it. Uh, art is abstract, so there's no such thing as ugly art and, 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 and pretty art. Art is art. So just be you. Express yourself. Don't take no for an answer. And be don't be afraid to live. Mm -hmm. Live, and you, you'll find that in each stroke. Each painting you paint, or each pencil you grab, and whatever whatever you're doing in the art world, either dancing or, or, or sculpting, whatever 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 you're doing in the art world, that's dope. It, man. Embrace it and enjoy it. Yeah, here's uh, one of the ladies uh, on your Instagram. If you all want to check it out, uh, you all could go to uh, Dorks and Dweebs. And uh, on Instagram with the underscore and check it out. Uh, here's a lady wearing uh, one of your creations right here. Um, that's that's dope. And you're using black characters as well. Yeah, that's Miss Coco right there. <laughs> okay, all right. That's Miss Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Miss Coco. Rocking the, uh, the, the tank top, man. That's what's up, man. And... Uh, what are some of the the things, the doors, and that's been open, and things that you got planned for the future of this uh, clothing line and things, and uh, and where can some people go if they wanted to to get some of this? Uh, okay. Um, uh, first, first off, my, my my aspirations are to continue the children's books, uh, then get into we got pencils, pens, notebooks, folders. Uh, we got so many things coming, but the biggest dream is I'm naming the characters right now and uh, trying to uh, really get a, a cartoon out of this. Present the Disney, Nickelodeon, Netflix, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, man, whoever, Regina King, whoever want to get that. <laughs> right, right. Said, yeah. That's you know, a that's a that. great idea, actually, because uh, you know they got all these other cartoons with people that don't look like us, so. Why not? You know what I'm saying? It's right now the perfect time. This that's the dream. That's the dream. And if you want to check it out, you can check me out on Instagram at dork at dorks underscore in underscore dweebs. Right. And if you want to check me out on Facebook, dorks the letter in dweebs. Right. And here that's it is cool. right here on on Instagram. You all can check it out. Definitely, and uh, you got a lot of pictures with a lot of people, man. Rocking, rocking the gear, man. That's what's up, man. So it definitely taken off. I even saw you even had the bags and everything to match, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you a uh, 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 Hugo Boss feel, but not the Hugo Boss price. <laughs> right, right. Uh, it's more, more about the quality, more about anything to give you the vibrant colors, and you know. You don't you like what you gonna like what you're wearing, and it right. feels good, and it looks good. And I want I want that feel. I want that I want that feel for you. And you, get, and you get you get you get a little fun too. With it. Right, that's what's up, man. And uh, also, I see that it's not just screen printed. Um, you actually have it like with the the texture, like uh, some Chanel pattern. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's what's it. up. Yep. Yeah. I got the. Gym. Got the jean jackets. I got the uh, leggings for the uh, ladies coming. Got the bucket hats coming. Uh, uh, got the uh, I got the leather leather uh, sweaters. So uh, we got we got we have definitely a lot of things coming. A lot mm -hmm. of things coming. All right, definitely, man. So yeah, man. Everybody need to go on and get a check out, man. Definitely need to uh, get this cartoon popping because these characters they definitely look like they're ready to come to life, man. In the next cartoon, and you drew all of this, huh? Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. You got skills, man. I didn't know you had skills like that, man. That's what's up. Yeah, 
Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, Appreciate man. You, Jay. Yeah. And how long have you uh had this uh clothing line out for those that's uh interested? This is year two. This is year two and oh, two wow. and a half. I'll say well, two and a half, two and a half. But yeah, really year two. So uh we just started uh and uh the sky's the limit. I mean I'm 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 blessed, I'm happy when I get inventory it, it, it runs out, it floods. I'm flooding the market, and, and, and I have the biggest problem is trying to keep inventory. My right. biggest problem, and uh, I'm, I'm really truly blessed. Yeah, definitely, man. Is it any uh, stores, anything in Chicago where they can find it, or are you strictly direct no, to consumer? Uh, direct, to, uh, direct to consumer, direct okay. to consumer, and uh, I also do you know mailing. I'm okay. In, uh, I ship out of state and everything, but uh, if you're in Chicago, I can be door to door. Uh, yeah. even if you're in Indiana, I can do door to door. But uh, as far mm-hmm. as brick and mortar is coming, right. it's coming. All right, it's coming. So yeah, y'all can click on the link. It's right there on Instagram. It'll take you right there to the shop, uh, and uh, you'll be able to get hooked up, check it out. Um, this is uh the new for us by us, but new and improved. <laughs> We go. We gonna definitely be here for the for the long term. Um, so you know, definitely, man. This is dope, man. And uh, I, I really, uh, I'm proud of you, man. You are doing big things, man. So definitely, Jay, Jay. yeah. And you got something for for everybody. So that's what's up, man. Um, Appreciate you, Jay. Appreciate uh, you. No problem, man. Um, anything you want to tell the people about what you got coming up next or, or anything, any new things that you want to let anybody know before, uh, uh I want everybody to come out to the Hot Park Fest, uh, June 11th, June 12th, uh, I will have a booth out there, um, uh, Dorks and Dweebs will be in effect, so if you get a chance, uh, make sure you show up, pop, come out, show out, bring your pocketbook, <laughs> Um, that's the biggest thing right there. Uh, I got new, I got new things coming for the summer, and get ready for spring and summer. Uh, just be, 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 be on Instagram, be on Facebook. I mean, I'm gonna do some giveaways. I'm gonna do some. There's gonna be some pop ups. Gonna be some surprise things coming. So uh, just, just, just gotta, gotta stay tuned. You gotta stay tuned. All right, gotta definitely, stay tuned. man. Definitely. I appreciate uh, you coming on, man, and uh, you know, definitely is good to see you. You got a lot of different designs too, man. That's dope, man. Appreciate um, you. Yeah, I see how you didn't uh, integrated the character into the name right here. That was dope. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, man, hanging by his underworld. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what they used to do back in the days. Back uh, in the days, on, on, on the coat hook. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got the ladies. This is what the crop top hoodie right here. Yeah, 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 man, that's dope, man. So, you know, man, that's that's really good to see, man. And uh, you you have all this stuff done yourself. You're not going to like somebody like a uh, Teespring or anything like that, right? No, no, I'm doing everything myself. I'm the only person uh, I'm going through for my my printing is Inspire Printing. Uh, uh, they're on the west side. Uh, great people. Uh, shout out to Abel, Anna, Pepper. Mm-hmm. They always show love. Um, great, great people. Great people. Man. And uh, that's just about it. I'm doing everything else is me. All right, man. Else is me. That's dope, man. You Definitely, got Queen Key. Man. I see Queen Key. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah, man, you you doing a lot, man, and uh, that's definitely good. Damon Williams is a funny, dude, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, man, I'm just real happy for you, man, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what what the future holds, man. Definitely, man, dope. Um, we got a bunch of people in here. Uh, Jen said, "Hey, what's up? Nice St. Louis hat, Pierre." <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, uh, Ray said that logo is dope. He liking Thanks. the logo. He said he just checked out your uh, IG, man. He said it was fire, man. So, you appreciate know. You. Appreciate yeah, you. Definitely, definitely, man. Definitely. So, yeah, pre- appreciate everybody for coming through. He said keep promoting your brand, man. You're going to make it, definitely. And, Thanks, uh, bro. Appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, you're definitely doing good in, uh, in just two years' time, man. You know, but... 
It's a lot of hard work. So for people out there that only see the end result, I mean, you know, it's a lot of hard work, I'm sure, that got you to this point, right? There's no sleep. There's no sleep. I'm I'm, I'm educated during the day. When I get off, I'm, I'm drawing. I'm drawing, and I'm, I'm illustrating, I'm, I'm writing. It's, 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 it's never ending. Right. I'm not, it's not enough hours in a day. Right, right. I definitely can relate because I be feeling like I don't have enough hours to get what I'm trying to get done now, you know. When you got a passion that you're really going for, that's how it feel. When you just got a job, you you can't wait to get off work, you know. But when you're doing your passion, then it's not enough time in the day, you know. So, But at least you're putting in that work for you and your dream. So that's what make it worthwhile, you know. So. so uh, Soon yeah. I can cut out the first job. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that definitely would be dope. So, yeah, man, I appreciate you for coming through. Uh, everybody go check out Dorks and Dweebs uh, on Instagram. Cop you a shirt uh, or two. And uh, <laughs> definitely we got to support each other and make it, make each other all come up at the same time, man. And uh, I'm definitely uh, rooting for you, man. And I definitely want that cartoon to come out, man. That would be dope. Um, make like a new, new modern, uh, you know, Fat Albert type thing, man. Except, you know, new and improved. And, uh, you know, yeah, just a lot of dope things coming, man. So, yeah, man. And, uh, you know, appreciate you for taking time to come, man. And I appreciate you, Jay, for having me, man. Love you, bro. Yeah, man, definitely. And I got to get up with you on that 2K, man. Show you, man. Uh, remind you of the, the good old days, man. You know what I'm saying? You know. I got the controls. I got, I got it all right. I got it set up for you. I got it set up for you right now. <laughs> we we going to have to do that, man. Definitely, man. So, okay. Yeah, man. Everybody, uh, you know, check them out. Um, after this, man, just hang on a second before you go, man. And uh, everybody definitely hit it up. Check it out. Uh, you know, show some love. I appreciate everybody for coming. Don't forget to share the video, like, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. And everybody, you know, take care and uh, be safe out there. And we up out of here, man. Peace. Deuces. The J know the very best reviews. Tell them none can contest me, don't